I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play I'll Tell My Mom. This is a very well known children's song, which in fact is both English and Irish. I wasn't aware of this until I looked it up. English versions use the uh, Golden City, whereas Irish versions refer to Belfast City. Uh, made famous m recently by uh, the Chieftains in 1988 with Van Morrison. Um, they do it in the key of A. And in 1998 by a band called Shamrock. Um, which spent 17 weeks in the uh, UK charts and um, it, that was recorded by John Hamilton who is someone that I know I've recorded uh, quite a few times in his studio in North London I'll tell you a bit more about that a bit later on um, but the most common key is uh, G for the fiddle and that's what we're going to start with but I'll also give you the key of D and the, the shamrock version so, uh, once through, uh, slow and with no ornamentation. One, two, three, four. simple tune, uh, a verse and a chorus, sometimes the chorus is repeated. Um, let's do it again and a few ornaments. So that's a double cut and I've just done a video all about the double cut and the single cut uh, which you may find useful. Lots of room for G drones here. And D drones on that part of the melody. Single cut. So that's the third finger flicking on above the C. Drones there on the D and the A. Single cut. And if you want, you can harmonise using the scale of sixths um, through the whole thing if you want. It makes it less traditional, but it does fill it out and make it more interesting. This, this idea of doing the scale of six through a really simple tune which you've been playing for the last 20 years and you're pretty bored with does make it quite a lot more interesting and challenging. And there I was uh, mixing in and out of the scale of six with open string drones because it doesn't work all the way through. Now let's look at the, uh, the version in D. And um, as I said, this was a, um, a hit by uh, John Hamilton with his uh, pub band, the, the Shamrock. And uh, he'd been booked to play for an Irish wedding in Watford and uh, hadn't really played very much Irish music before this, I don't think. And they learnt this tune uh, for that wedding. And the, the audience went crazy. And uh, John thought to himself, um, this is so good, I've got to record it. <laughs> and they slapped on a, um, uh, a kind of a techno beat and they did a wonderful video. I, I love the video actually, even though everybody's miming. Um, and um, John, after he realised that this was a big hit and it actually sold, I think, three million copies in the end, uh, he was anxiously waiting to see how much money he was going to make out of it. And I can't tell you how much it was, but I do know it was a great deal less than he was hoping for. So if you think that a million selling single is going to um, change your life, then it's not necessarily so. But anyway, uh, he decided that um, 
the tune really needed a, a bit of a key change and so he uh, made up this little extra B part for the fiddle to play and uh, I think this is really effective. Uh, I do this with the covers band that I play with and we do it in the key of G and the, the bridge, uh, this new bridge, it really doesn't work very well going because it's a key change and it changes to uh, the, not the right key. I often wondered why it feels so awkward and it's because it's basically the wrong key for, the, for this. But anyway, I'll give you the basic melody and then the bridge. And I think that's really effective. Um, I think probably a lot of covers bands will do this version, so it's well worth learning. Uh, if you're in a really traditional setting, then uh, you'll be uh, booed out of the place if you play this probably. Um, so let's do that with the backing. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. If you like a copy of the dots, then do subscribe and send me an email. And I'll see you again soon.